I purchased a lot of uh, ATI 73 Explorer on eBay and I'll see if I can fix them. This is how much I pay for the calculator total. This is uh, uh, shipping included. So I pay 23.53. It's uh, eight of them. Uh, let's see if I can fix them. Okay, so now let's start with uh, the first three. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as I can. Because I don't want to spend too much time on these. This is a quick uh, background about the 73 or uh, 73 Explorer. So this was uh, <coughs> essentially a, a, a replacement for the TI-80. And uh, it was uh, the frame, as you can see, the chassis uh, is based uh, or was based off the chassis of, uh, was based on the uh, TI-83 that came out in 1996, I believe. And this one came out in 1998. Uh, the Explorer, the first uh, Explorer came out in 1990, 1998, uh, but this specific model came out in 2001 or 2003. I can't remember quite well, but uh, it was uh, in the mid or uh, in the early 2000. Anyways, this has some scratch on the display, and uh, this one seems intact. This one scratch on the display as well. And uh, okay, so now let's see. Uh, this one has uh, a dark mark on the display, so display on this one is probably, is probably bad. Let's see. Uh, this is essentially uh, the same as, uh, well, uh, look-wise, it looks almost uh, the same as the TI-83 and uh, TI-89. I even believe they share the same keys, so that's something I'm going to have to find out. Okay. Oh, this one came on. So, even though it has display issue, it still uh, uh, managed to come on. So, that wasn't expected. I am glad that is so. So, okay, so now let's uh, grab something really quick. Uh, I've never used this. This is my first time I've uh, seen one. I guess this must be X. Okay. Uh, let's uh, uh, grab that. Okay, it is fairly quick. It is uh, fairly quick. So, I guess this is all we gotta do with this one. So, uh, so be it. Uh, that's a good thing. So, we didn't have to do anything to this one. It is working fine. I'm pretty sure all the keys are gonna, are, are gonna be working. You know, I've never had a, uh, well, only one time, but that was a due to corrosion. But this one, like I said, I don't wanna spend too much time on this. The good thing is that they work. So we have one working one. Now let's try a second one. Yeah, don't worry. I am I'm a, I'm a collector. I don't really sell calculators, so I'm gonna be working on these anyways. When I get bored, I just I am just going to open them up and see what's going on. Okay, so this one has no power at all. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Let's start taking this off, and it has some numbers on the back, but it, those numbers really don't mean anything to me. So. Okay, still nothing. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so this is a trick that I do. Uh, uh, this worked for me uh, with uh, a TI-89 sometimes, so when it has a backup battery, for some reason, the, cal the calculator would not turn on. So as soon as I removed the backup battery, it just uh, started up uh, immediately. So we have a working one as well. So this one is working fine. Let's go and uh, do a quick graph, uh, X square. Let's see, and uh, grab this. Okay, fairly quick. Uh, let's do something more challenging. Uh, I don't even know if this calculator has uh, trick functions on them. So let's do one over, I mean, a uh, trick function such as a uh, sequence. Uh, oh, this doesn't even have a, a numbering. Uh, okay, so that is interesting. So I guess that's one of the difference uh, between this and the 83. You cannot really uh, uh, type uh, numbers and stuff, I mean letters and stuff. So that is that, okay. Uh, so there isn't even a... A cosine function so I guess I was right this thing does not even have trick functions I could be wrong but I, I doubt I am <laughs> let's see 
yeah i was definitely wrong he's got cosine but for some reason you can't look for the uh, uh these functions by uh, by search so there's that uh does he have sequence though you know on an 83 i believe you can just uh, uh press s and it will take you to uh you know uh functions that start with s and uh I'm just renting at this point. B Q R S. Okay, this is definitely not sequent. This is sequence or whatever. But I guess it doesn't have that function. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's not a big deal. Catalog is the catalog going to reset? Uh, okay, you see that's the sad part. Uh, since I'm here, if I want to go back to cosine, oh, never mind. So you reset. So I guess yeah, <laughs> that can be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, let's do one. One. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, this one is working fine, so I don't want to spend too much time on it. <laughs> uh, that is that. Okay. So I got this working just by removing the backup battery, and uh, now if I put it back, it's gonna be just fine. Even though I'm pretty sure it's not going to work, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh oh. Okay. Anyways, I don't really <laughs> need that. Anyways, it's probably not gonna work after this many years. I don't know how long is they've been sitting, but uh, people almost never change these backup batteries. Okay, so let me. Okay, so it is working fine. Let me just try something really quick. I might open this up after all. Okay. Okay. Okay, not a big deal. So we have two working calculators. Uh, that is uh, great news so far. So at this point, I think I already got my money worth. And uh, something I want to mention before I forget, this calculator uh, replaced the TI-80. Uh, and was uh, meant for uh, middle school students, so uh, grade 6 to 9, which was uh, kind of useless if you really ask me. <laughs> but companies do what they want. But with the uh, TI-83 being present, there really was no need for this. Anyways, so let's do our third one, see what's going on with this one right here. So as you can see, this can take some time, so maybe you, the person who tested it didn't have a, didn't have a good batteries in them, so uh, that could be the reason. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with uh, the previous one, so I'm going to remove this one. <laughs> My light is going, it's probably going to run out sooner or later, so that is that, we must see. Okay, so no more luck. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm going to open this up. And the good thing is that uh, this one is essentially the same as uh, the 83 when it comes to the look and the 89. So that's a good thing. They have the same school. So you put your power tool here and uh, just uh, press it up a little bit and uh, this should do it. And that's it, now we're in. Hmm. The inside of this looks really interesting. As you can see this pad right here. Mm. I don't know why it wouldn't work, but uh, everything looks clean, no corrosion. You know, no sign of uh, heavy use here. Hmm, that should count up for something, huh? Okay. Okay, oh nice, so the display on this one even comes off. Not quite, but uh, it is... It is... Uh, if you ever had a TI Inspire, so this is what the first generation Inspire looked like. You know, the display was uh, 
separate from uh, the uh, keyboard okay so now let's see what I'm gonna do is uh, you see this uh, terminal here that's a little scratch up I'm gonna see if uh, if it, it's gonna make any difference when I move it if there's going to be a difference when I move it so to do that I'm gonna uh, bend this a little bit and uh, now I'm gonna put this back and see if, uh, if I get lucky okay so I got lucky with this one but unfortunately the display is not good so again this could just be uh, this could just be this may not be a big deal after all I can even see it blinking I don't know how to adjust the brightness on this I don't even know if you can do that but I can see it blinking you probably could too if you pay close attention but the contrast is so low that uh, it is unusable and uh, technically this should be the contrast settings right but it doesn't really work okay so what I can do at this point is uh, let's see at this point I could just uh, touch up the display and see if that's going to make any difference uh, yeah this is really hard to work on especially behind the camera I'm gonna push this up a little bit and that should do it so this display right here I can remove this just fine and put it back should, should be able to at least I would think so yeah they didn't really want this to come off uh, but uh, yeah I don't want to make a mess so so if this does not work then I definitely maybe there, sh there, there, there could be uh, some broken pins here uh, so I don't have any soldering tool right now but uh, that is something I can work on definitely when I get some more time but for now we're just gonna set this aside as uh, as is and uh, this might have done something good though mm. let's blow it up a little bit okay so uh, let's give it another shot by touching these contacts and see if uh, yeah same same whole story okay not a big deal this this can probably be fixed with a little more dedication might be able to fix this one but for now we are not going to so yeah okay now that we have this uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave uh, this here and uh, this is the last one uh oh this definitely has some corrosion in it yeah that's not good this definitely has some corrosion so what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna uh, put this back so I'm gonna keep this and get another set of our uh, AAA batteries just in case I have to uh, open things up well that really doesn't make any sense let me just uh, stop being lazy and uh, do this so technically so far we've been lucky and this one is coming up fine so I don't know what's going on I don't know why they were listed as part I guess uh, the sound of the display explains that because they are heavy, heavily scratched so yeah I guess nobody is going to want to pay a full price for something that is looking this bad expect ex <laughs> let's see uh, okay so let's grab this okay so uh, everything is working fine so yeah 
and uh, we have been lucky with this one as well so yeah I guess uh, that's a good thing so three good one bad so far again I'm always I'm going to open this up anyways uh, to work on it when I get some free time so yeah there's that that's why I'm not doing a, a, a more testing to them right now so we have three working ones so we over here and uh, let's get uh, the room okay let me just set this aside before they get mixed up Okay, so we got the last four. If I have to guess, this probably okay school library. So this came from a school library. Okay, I had a little issue with the the phone camera when I was testing uh, the fit one and uh, that worked just fine so as you can see that one is working just fine as well but uh, I noticed that uh, the line has I mean the display has some lines on the far left it's kind of hard to tell but it's definitely there okay so yeah so we have five four working ones and one bro broken one let's see Hey, sorry. Okay, this is the sixth one. Yeah, this one definitely has some corrosion too. Okay, let's see. But now I just want to make sure they start. The ones that are not turned on, I don't. I'm going to open them up and see what I can do. So this one does not seem to be coming on, so... Uh, I always uh, take the backup battery off first because that might just fix it. Okay, so this one still won't come on. Okay, so now I'm left to uh, take it apart. Definitely have some corrosion here, as you can see. So I'm gonna do the same thing, push this a little bit to see. Wait, what did I do? Of course. It is what it is. <laughs> I had the battery in the wrong way. But I still didn't fix it. I just put this back a little. Yeah, this is definitely a dead end. This won't work for now. So, uh, this is uh, a project. Okay, I am going to be joining some friends in a little bit. They come uh, every Saturday, I mean, Friday. Because I'm going to be working on it anyway, so I won't have to. Uh, open it again. So I'm gonna keep it open. Just uh, put the screws. Uh, let's see. Put the screws over here. This is seven one, seventh. 
I mean, so far we got really lucky. I mean, pretty much all of them pretty much worked. Uh, so, so far, one, two, three, four, I got five working ones. Okay, so I got really lucky so far. All these seems to be working fine, so that's a really good thing. And, uh, yeah, so I already got my money worth. I only paid 23, shipping included, so the total was 23. Tax and everything was included as well. So that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, I can, the good thing is that I, I could easily use this for part. Uh, which I am going to uh, make a video about. I'm gonna uh, do some uh, key swapping with my 89. Hopefully the keys are the same. The key, uh, visual looking, they are the same, but internally, I don't know if the key are going to be slightly different, but we'll see. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also going to be using the back plate because the front plate cannot be used due to them missing uh, 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 the uh, lettering here. Okay, so we got five working one. And this is the last one. Did I keep the last for best? Let's see. Oh wow, that one booted, booted right up. Nice. And the display has some uh, uh, discoloration here, as you can see. But that's not a huge deal for what I pay for. So yeah, it is what it is. So let's do one over cosine catalog cosine of uh, huh. variable is that okay so how do I oh there's a trick function here okay it does have uh, all the trick functions though uh, that's fine but I'm looking for my, okay, dependent variable x here, okay. Uh, let's try to grab this. Hmm. <laughs> Why is it, this is not a graph of uh, uh, secant? That's, uh, that's very interesting. Let's see. And with this thing is that uh, you unfortunately cannot delete. So you have to clear the whole thing and uh, let's just, uh, so there's a tree key here. Let's do a cosine of x. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Why is this giving me a straight line? It is a graphing calculator. Isn't it supposed to be able to graph uh, trig functions? But I don't know why it's giving me straight lines. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I don't think that's a problem. Uh, it's just uh, the way this software was written. So yeah, there is that. But the good thing is, uh, out of eight calculators, I was able to uh, have uh, six working ones. So that is great. Even though they're not in the, per in, in the, in the bed shape, but uh, they are usable. They can be used for emergency. You know, if you want to do some quick calculation or you want to do some graph quickly or even if you need a backup for your test you know they can definitely be handy all right so that's it for this video